is going on YouTube? It is your boy Circle K D Great bringing you week three of the GUU. This week, guys, we are facing off the commissioner of the GUU, Obo29, better known as Owen, and his Seattle Sandstorm. Now, before I get into the team order, what we brought, and why we were bringing him, and later on the battle, there's uh, there's three things I want to mention. Uh, first of all, um, I am bringing Crobat this week. Uh, uh, before battling, uh, it's actually a few days ago, um, we realized that two teams had Crobats. And when I requested to get Crobat, somebody else had already uh, requested it, and so I, I, they didn't realize it until, until weeks later. So I am bringing Crobat this week. It, it does, does some work. But um, as of not this week, but next week, uh, we will not have Crobat. Second thing is this video is extremely late. And that is completely my fault. This video was due on Friday, about five days ago. And it, to be honest, it was just time, time got the better of me. I had work, and I, I really just wanted to prioritize just my, my, my clean head. So that's all on me. Third thing is, yes, I did get a haircut. I finally went into the barber shop yesterday. I was like, look, here's some scissors. Cut it off. I also shaved off the beard. So if I look a little different, that's why. But besides that, let's get into... Uh, Owen's team, what he has, and later on what we're going to be bringing. So he has to make a Lucario, the Dark Ray, a Mew, uh, the Thunderous, the, the, the Darmanitan, the Swampert, the Miltic, the Delmise, the Sylveon, the Haxorus, and the Quill Fish. Now, we're looking, looking at at Owen's team, obviously the most scariest thing is that make Lucario because it has that adaptability ability, uh, adaptability ability, uh, basically meaning that his fighting and still type moves are basically doubled in power instead of being, um, Instead of, uh, what's the term? Being multiplied by 5 force, I believe. 1.25, uh, oh no, it's actually 1.2, uh, bonus. He has a doctor, which can be very annoying with the hypnosis and be able to set up with, like, nasty plot and, and whatnot. He has mule, which can basically do anything. It could be set up. Uh, it could be offensive. It could be other things. So he has the thunderous. Uh, it's actually the, uh, the genie form. So it has volt, volt absorb instead of, um, so he has Therian, uh, which has volt absorb instead of prankster, which is actually... No, 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 I'm sorry, he has Prinster rather than Volt Absorb, so it's actually kind of nice because that means it doesn't wall zap us as hard. He has the Darmanitan, which is a very scary threat when you give it a choice, when you give it a choice item, specifically Banner Scarf, because then it can just rip teams because you have to think about, okay, is this guy batted or is he scarfed? And you really have to, like, really consider your switch in for that. He has probably one of my favorite official starters, that being in Swampert. I love Swampert to death. It is my Hoenn starter and will always be my Hoenn starter. He has, he has uh, one of uh, an Owen pick in Miltink, be able to set up a curse, get up a Seth Rocks, be annoying with Toxic, Heal, uh, heal Bell, uh, Milk Drink. Um, he has a Dale Mize, which can rapid spin, can block rapid spinners, uh, can be scary, and, and you know, uh, it's usually seen physically offensive. He has Sylveon, another big threat, because if, if, if it runs, like, you know, max defense, max HP, it becomes a big threat for things like my Marsh Shadow and, and other things that I have. And with that pixelate ability, if I somehow brought Salmon Armand, pixelate will go through it, and since it's uh, it's now a fairy type, it does even more damage, which is ridiculous. He has Hexorus, which is very scary. I, I've i I've always had to like keep an eye on Hexorus, because I've lost to it before. And once it starts setting up, it starts setting up, and it's very scary. And finally, he has Quillfish, which can be known with the Intimidate ability. With that in mind, um, let's go over our team, what we brought, and why we are bringing it. So first and foremost, we have Little Bro, the Marshadow. Uh, we're running the Ghost DMZ. I will soon be running uh, a Choice Scarf set, but I realize, you know, he really, uh, his best thing is probably the Dark Ray, if I recall correctly, and that speed ties with my, uh, with Marshadow here, and so he really has to, like, if he has to run the risk of, do I run max speed, or do I just get run over by this thing? And so, um, we're bringing Ghost DMZ just to hit something, we just nuke something if we can. Um, we're running Close Combat, which with the Shadow Sink and Iron Head, Iron Head for that Sylveon specifically. But in most cases, we just click Z Ghost on it if once we know it's bred, uh, and we play around that. But besides that, Marshadow is, is, is an incredibly good mon piece, and the still stab not being resented by any typing at all. Uh, next up, we have Status 3, R Tepufini was a love to us. Knockoff Skull, Defog, Nature's Madness. I actually had another move on this thing, uh, but before. Ugh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Tepufini. Before I started. Uh, I was getting my team bred. I was notified that I actually had scald twice, and so I couldn't remember what that fourth move was. So I just uh, clicked, uh, chose knockoff because it's a really nice uh, 
you know, uh, utility move can be allowing me to just remove Pokemon's items off. Things like the Mew, which can be set up far, uh, farther. The Mill Tank, which I can get rid of his leftovers. The Swampert, which is probably left as well. As well. Uh, maybe even the Darmanin 10 if I played it right. Skull Defog Nature's Madness. Uh, Nature's Madness was really for that Sylveon and for that Mill Tank because it's just if they start setting up or whatever, I it's for sure 50% off their health, which is super nice. We're running max HP, and now special defense to live a thunder bolt from a modest 252 life orb, uh, dark ride, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the cow, and yeah, that's brass type our type of leading this week. Uh, you'll see what, what happens. Uh, I honestly don't remember what happens myself. Um, let me uh, mute Discord really quickly. It's probably a hacker. I'm calling you a hacker. Um, uh, actually, ironically, yeah, it's about what I'm going to be doing later after this video, um, uh, we're just going to be streaming for this, for this video. Anyways, we have hard these Zapdos with the leftovers, Thunderbolt Heat with Future and Roost, uh, really, Thunderbolt does a lot to his team, uh, I originally had Hidden Power Grass for, uh, on this thing, but, you know, I'd rather just pivot into something better, f uh, for that Swampert, that Roost for more longevity, running max HP, max defense once again, uh, just like week two, I believe. Uh, and really, it's just, just, just to handle, like, the Melt Tank better for the Darmanitan. Ideally, I should have run Static instead, uh, to, to increase the chances of, like, me paralyzing something along the way. But that's what we're running. Next up, we're running probably... Uh, at first, I hated the Mon, but, uh, at now, I just absolutely love him because of Super Smash Bros. That being, uh, Incineroar, our Flexin Mon. With the uh, Assault Vest, Intimidate, Ability, U-Turn, Earthquake, Flame Blast, Knockoff. Knockoff, obviously, because um, it just does just a, a lot to his team. Just like Knockoff on our Tapu Fini. We're running Flare Blurts, Earthquake, because the combination of those two is just detrimental to his entire team. And U-Turn for Pivot. We're running, we're running enough speed to outspeed a Swampert so that we can just U-Turn on his face. In case it wants to go for like, maybe an Earthquake, we can go into our Crobat. Or something else of the sorts, or Zapdos. And just wall that thing, those things. Um... Yeah, uh, the reason why I, it's named Flex, uh, Flexin is because um, back in December, I was visiting a, a good friend of mine at UT, and uh, they had ult Super Smash Bros. Ultimate out, and so I, 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 I was maining as Incineroar, and we had a tournament, and we had to choose a nickname. I didn't want to tell them my name, so I put my name as Flexin, and they all thought it was a huge boost towards my skill, and I actually got pretty far in that tournament, and I, I was pretty happy how I, uh, how I did. But uh, enough stories aside, we're rocking with Flexin. The Incineroar making his debut for the GUU. I'm very excited with this mod and see what he can do. Uh, next up, we got Batnik, the Crobat, uh, rocking the Black Sludge again. Crobat won't won't be here coming forward. It's just it was just a fluke and an admin work, so no fingers would be pointed anywhere. Um, but we have this mod nonetheless. There's nothing we can change about that. We are bringing Super Fang, U-Turn, Taunt, and Brave Bird. Uh, we're running uh, a crap ton of... We're, running, we're bringing a bulky Crobat this week. Uh, again, Super Fang is for like, that Militank for that Mew that want to set up. And uh, we're sort of punishing them for wanting to do that. We have Taunt to stop set up from that, to that Mew, from that Militank, from that... Or even to stop Rocks from Swampert. Uh, we have Super Fang to, again, to, to do a, a crap ton of damage. U-Turn and, and Brave Bird also does a lot. And then, um, yeah, and then we have Infiltrator, just because he has uh, a sub up on something, we can still go through it and uh, ping it for a lot of damage. Lastly, when I finished the building, I do remember this, I realized that Minotan was a Mon, and I was like, well, I don't have really the best of switches for it, besides, you know, maybe Intimidate and Cinnawar and Tapu Fini, but they still take a lot of damage from it. So I was like, okay, I need a dedicated, like, sort of answer to this thing, and so we're bringing uh, an Akaberry, Alphonse, the Registeel, Iron Head, Stealth Rocks, Thunder Wave, and Sesmatok. We are running max HP, max special defense, because with the Oka, we guarantee live a banded uh, full of adamant fragments from a uh, Darmanitan. And then we will just click them to wave to paralyze the thing, and it becomes way less of a threat. Uh, we get rocks up, it's a good uh, good plus. Seismotok is just good shit on that mill tank. Again, um, I seen Owen win with a cursed mill tank, so I'm trying my best to prevent that. But yeah, that's our team, guys. So um, I'm quickly gonna. Uh, that's our quick team for this week. Um, you're gonna see how I how I do. Oh man, I, I'm very disappointed in how I played this this week. Again, if you want, you guys want to see a good match, go check this video up here. Um, if you want to see a, a better better version of my skills, I, I definitely think it wasn't my best work. But uh, I'll be right back. 
Alrighty guys, so with that in mind, we have the Wi-Fi match set up now, and let's get into it. So now, uh, obviously, I think from here on out, I'm just going to have the six mods already out on the layup, and uh, I, I think that's the best it's going to look from here on out. Uh, so yeah, he brings a Swampert, he brings a Miltank, he brings a Mega Lucario, the Dark Ride Mew, and a Manitan. So, uh, when I when I was thinking of a lead, I thought Crobat had a pretty decent matchup. You know, I can taunt the Swampert, I can taunt the Miltank from set, uh Preventing uh, getting up cell swaps and even to make a Lucario. I just super fake that thing or you just U-turn. Briefert also did a lot, so I had I had I had a lot of options to to, to do to to use. So um, let's see. Hopefully the battle starts soon. I think I prepped it to where it queues up in maybe in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, that worked. So yeah. Uh, uh, again, just a fair warning. This is not my best of uh, of uh. A matchup. So he leads out and is leading off Pearl the Swampert, and I was like, beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with our Crobat, and I'm just gonna click Taunt turn one. Uh, I'm just gonna prevent the rocks from from going up. I, I was like, yeah, he can click Stone Edge Ice Punch, but I was like, you know what? I, I think he wants to get up Rock turn one, and so um, that's exactly what he does. He goes for the Stealth Rocks, and, and but he says he's taunted, he can't really do it. So I think here we click. Oh, we click Super Fang, prevent, pretending maybe Mew coming in or whatever. We're gonna do. We're gonna bring this man to this mon to 50%. He does have the ice punch, but we are bulky crowbat, so we take it pretty decently. Not the best, but uh, nonetheless, we we do take it. We see that he is leftovers, which is good damage. Um, here, I think I just go for the U-turn. Yeah, I go for the U-turn, uh, and I think I just go into my Tapu Fini. I believe I go into Tapu Fini here. Yes, I go into Tapu Fini, and I think here I just click Scald. I. We get the Misty Surge up, which is very nice, very, very nice. Um, uh, and yeah, he goes for Earthquake here. Good read on his part. Uh, we are bulky, Finny again, so we're not... We take this pretty well. I think based on this damage, he didn't have... I think he might have been out of it. Um, again, I, I did this battle back uh, last Monday when it was late. So uh, I'm pretty sure that was out of it, if anything. He, the top wears off. We have Defog on this thing. I go for the knockoff here. And so he's probably gonna get rocks up here, I believe. Yeah, he he gets up rocks. He doesn't know we have defog on this thing, so really it's a it's a winning situation for us. I think here I go for the defog just to get rid of them. Um, he might click. I think he clicks rocks once more time. One more time. Once more. No, I, I go for the scald. Uh, obviously I can't burn this thing because we are under missing terrain. But now he's in range of one more, uh, uh of scald, and he predicts us go for defog, which is good because that means he just wasted a turn, uh, on us. I think here I uh, I decided to go, go for the defog as he goes for earthquake. So now that uh, now that basically he he either chooses to keep his swampert alive or does something else. Yeah, he goes he goes for the earthquake. Um, and again, it's gonna bring him down to maybe half. Yeah, just below half. Yeah, actually just right on right below ha half uh, at 88. You know. Anyways, sorry math. Um, he's gonna switch out and go into Mew here. Uh, Panther, no. Yeah, he goes into Mew here. Uh, I go for the Scald one more time, uh, just to kill this thing off. And we see he is very offensive Mew, and I'm like, oh crap. So um, the Misty Terrain disappears from our battlefield. Here I go for the uh, knockoff, as he goes for Nasty Plot, and I'm like, oh shit. I have to do something real quick, and so um, I go for the knockoff. I do an incredible amount of damage because again, he's not. Th th oh no, it's not about a quarter of his health. He was Cassie Berry, so I think that's for the um, Marshadow, I believe. And then I think here I switch out into. No, he goes for Psychic here. And it's going to do a tremendous amount to us, but we are switching the defensive, so we can sort of take it. And then um, here was my choke. Here's my, the first choke of the game. We get the burn off here. But here's my first choke of the game. I'm like, okay, he's going to go for Psychic one more time. He's going to get chip, chip us down. But I forgot that we were in a range of an Aurora Sphere. Again, another oversight on my part. I should have I should have sacked off my Tapu Fini at this point, or gone into something else because the play into Cinder was very obvious, was super obvious. But I do it anyway, so I go into Incineroar, and he decides to click a plus two Aurora Sphere, and that's basically going to put our Incineroar out of commission. So it's going to do about like sixty five percent to our health. Actually, we we go down to seventy one B. Uh, no, I lied. That did. Yeah, that's seventy percent of our health. He is on one HP right now, and then I thought he'd just switch out, you know. But no, he goes for the Roar Sphere and he knocks out our Incineroar. So our 
a very big misplay on my part. I should have sacked out Takovini when I had the chance. Got into Kurobat or something else and just swept this in when I can't. Me going to go down to the burn from Tapufini as he goes into his Dormanitan. And as, as I decide to go into my Zapdos. So here I believe I just go for the Thunderbolt for the secure damage. I believe. I could be wrong. Yeah, as he goes for Flare Blitz. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to do over half. Yep, it does an incredible amount. And then I go for the Thunderbolt. Now he's in range, I believe, of a... Of a Shadow Sneak, right? We, we, uh, again, this me. he's very offensive. He's a very offensive Dormanitan. Um, here I decide to switch out, yes, into my Tapufini. Yes, and I decide to sack off my Tapufini here. Again, this should be an incident work intimidating him to make him less of a threat. But he, he goes, uh, he's choice, obviously, and I thought he was choice banded based on the damage. And uh, you'll see right now, uh, he kills my my sensory. I wanted to make sure he was definitely in range of a Shadow Sneak. As you can see, now he's in red. I go into Mars Shadow, and I click Close Combat. I click Close com close, close Combat here, thinking he was banded. But he is Scarfed. And at this point of the match, I'm just like, shit. Because if I click Shadow Sneak, this Dermatitan would have been dead. As he just dies to his own recoil. So now all we have is Registeel, uh, Zapdos, and Crobat. And there's basically no way we win this game. He's gonna go into uh, his Miltank here, and he's gonna start setting up. And I decide to go for the, I go for Stealth Rocks here, um, as he starts setting up, and I'm like, damn it, okay, we gotta stop this real quick. So next turn, I'll click uh, Stealth Rocks. I'm like, all right. And so uh, I, th I think I go for, th for Thunder Wave here. And Alphonse needs some damn glasses because he misses it. And so, that sort of sucks because, you know, Militech gets to set up one more time, and I'm like, frick. And so, I, I think I connect Thunder Wave here now. God darn it, why is Curse Cor such a long animation? Oh, I go get rocks up here, and I should have gone for, th for Thunder Wave again, but I wanted to secure the, the, the rocks being up. And here I go for the decisive attack, it turns out we outspeed him, uh, and we're going to do for the secure 50 damage. He goes for another Curse. Again, he's trying to win with... Um, with Milk Tank, but we are very defensive this mod. Also, Registeel didn't have much of a good matchup with the rest of the mods because it died to Focus Blast and or, uh, Close Combat and Aura Sphere of the. Uh, of the uh... Oh, yes, we missed another another Thunder Wave, like, really in our favor. And as you can see by the damage, Body Sam, like a plus four Body Sam, does nothing to us. And he's gonna go into his uh, Swampert, which is still alive. I think here we get to knock it off. Yeah, uh, no, he makes a great read. Goes for the, uh, yeah, he goes to go for Ice Punch, actually. Interesting play. Again, does nothing to us. I guess he was hoping to get the freeze, and that would have put us out of commission for, for sure. Registeel is going to get his first kill of the season uh, with Sesame Hawks, and then he's going to go into his Mega Lucario, uh, I believe. Yes, his Mega Lucario, and he's going to start setting up on us. And at this point, we, we lost the game. There was no way of us really winning. Our only hope was to was to connect the Thunder Wave and then just pair, pair him out uh, out, of, out of commission. So um, he close sword stance, and I think here we finally do connect a our Thunder Wave, which is fantastic. But um, no matter what, he he kills us with Dream Punch. We I think we go into Crobat here. We click. Okay, well obviously don't, don't, don't let me go ahead myself, Jorge. Um, he clicks Dream Punch. It's going to knock me out. And then it's now just my two burbs uh, left. Z uh, Zapdos and Crobat. And all I have left to do is just say GG to uh, to Owen. Because again, I just overplayed here. I go into Zapdos. And this is probably the second time in my career that I do this. I click Roost. And I forget Roost removes your flying typing. So now his close combat is just going to do damage to us. Because he's plus two. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Drain Punch. Drain Punch. At first, I was like, holy hell, why did this do so much? And I was like, wait, no, Roost! The Roost. Uh, again, the third time I make a big, big mistake. He has pulled a punch, so he's going to knock us out here. Unfortunately, I should have gone for the Heat Whiff that I had it, but I don't think it killed no matter what. Unless we got the burn, but he was paralyzed. So, sucks to suck. We're going to do a back neck here, and uh, he's going to click Bullet Punch one more time and just click an claim another KO. Um, so, yeah. 
That's how we're going to lose week three. Uh, we're going to lose a unfortunate 3-0 against Owen. Um, week four is definitely going to be delayed due to it being extended. Uh, not only because of me, but because of other players. So, um, again, good game, Owen. I definitely think I overplayed, which is probably going to be the theme of our of this thumbnail. It's just me overthinking it. But, uh, yeah. Oh! You hate to see it, folks. You hate to see an overplay. But not just one overplay in one match. Not two, but three overplays in a single game. I, I, I definitely am mad at how I play this game. Um, I definitely think I, I, it, sh it could have been... I could have easily won one more shuttle in all honesty. Like this, uh, uh, m maybe it'd be tougher, but I definitely had a better shot with Marshadow on the field, with Incineroar on the field. Now that I knew he was set up, uh, uh physically offensive, Lucario. It could have been a completely different game, but that's just the game we play, and there's really no uh, complaining about it. If you make a mistake, you make a mistake, and you pay the consequences. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys did enjoy this battle. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you new are new around here. Alrighty, guys. You guys know me as Sir Jorge the Great. Make sure you are praising the word of... Alone Eggy. And something just fell. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye, boy! <laughs>